Hey guys, this is Adrian from Real RC Reviews, and uh, today I'm looking at a new charger. Um, in the charger world, you generally have a bunch of, um, you know, from the big brands like High Tech and uh, Dynamite and stuff. Um, they're usually not their own chargers. It's usually a rebrand of something else. Um, so sometimes I like to take a look at the, you know, the products that are from the actual manufacturers and not the rebrand. So, um, today we're looking at the uh, Hobbymate D6 Duo Pro. I'd never heard of it before. They sell them on Amazon. Um, they reached out and they wanted me to take a look at it. And um, currently retail for 160 which I thought was kind of high for a dual charger um, until I got it in my hands. And, uh, well, let's take a look. It's uh, pretty small. Let me plug this in. And it's a uh, two channel. And it's a, uh, it says, as you see right here, I don't know if you can read it, AC 200 watt or DC 650 watt. So it's a pretty strong little sucker. And um, for similar performance, you know, looking at, a, at another brand, um, you're looking at something this size which is the high tech x2 ac plus you can see it's quite a bit larger um this isn't going to win any awards on sounds that it makes sounds are pretty irritating but i guess who cares um it comes with an ac plug to plug it into your wall it does not come with alligator clips to you know, to connect to your 12 volt battery or your, you know, your field uh, setup. So um, you'll have to buy your own leads. Also, does not come with a balance board or uh, or holes for um, for your normal charge leads. So if you don't use XT60, you are either going to have to buy or make your own adapters. Um, so it'd be a you know the XT60 female to whatever male side of the uh, adapt uh, of the connectors that that you use. But I think they went with what is currently the most popular, which I think is XT60, which I, I use on some stuff. But you know I started with XT60 pretty late in the game, but um, I do use them for some things. So. Instead of a balance board, though, I, kind of, I was skeptical at first, but I actually like this system. Instead of having this little thing dangling off, um, you have this socket here, and it gives you... It's numbered 1 through 6, so depending on the size of your battery, like this is a 2-cell, you would start it over here. And, um... Sorry, I'm kind of behind the camera. And you plug it in that way. Um, and of course, this would go here. And you switch channels with this button. And uh, go through your options that way. One other thing that, um, that this charger has that I have not seen on any other RC charger is that this top surface here is I, I think it, they call it an induction charging station. So if you have one of those phones, um, I don't. I have an iPhone, but a lot of Android phones have that ability to charge through just the back of the phone. You just set it up here, and it would charge. Um, so you could do that. It does have USB on the side, um, but um, so what can I tell you about it? It uh, it's small. It's really small, and it's got a pretty durable case on it. The screen is bright and colorful as opposed to, you know, the high tech I just showed you, which is just a monochromatic screen. Um, the fans are strong. They kick in when you start uh, charging a battery. And um, with the batteries I've charged so far, they've balanced really, really well. Um, one of my more expensive chargers doesn't get the balance that I have gotten with my cheaper chargers. Um, so, uh, yeah, once I started looking at some of the features of this thing, 
I was able to feel a little bit better about the uh, the 160 price tag um, or 159.90. Uh, the high tech, I think, is 99 or 115 bucks, which, which is still good, but it's it is quite large. Um, granted, like I said, you'll have to buy adapters and uh, alligator clips, plugs, whatever, if you want to charge at your field. Um, so, so those are my, I guess, my pros and cons. Um, you look at the at their listing on on uh, Amazon, they they're at four point three stars out of five stars. Um, I've only had it for a few weeks, so so far so good. Um, so anyway, from what I've seen, it's as good as any other charger on the market. Um, I would love to see it more at a you know one twenty five one thirty price range, uh, just to be a little bit more competitive with the price. I know it has other features that, that some of the others don't, but the fact that you have to, um, you know, come up with your own leads and buy your own alligator clips, which are fairly inexpensive, but it's still an, an additional cost. Unless, straight up, you, if all you have is XT60s, great. You know, you don't have to worry about a thing, and if you don't charge at the field, also not a big deal. But, um... You know, if you're in the market for a dual charger and you want a small footprint, uh, something that's quality made, has a nice bright screen that you can use, um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it did take the place of my high-tech uh, dual charger because that is so large at this point and I live in a townhouse so I like to keep things small. I have a I have a quad charger uh, that I use for you know real heavy my heavy applications, but if I just need a couple batteries charged at a time, this is where I'm going to. So anyway, check them out if you're in the market, and if not, at least you know about another charger out there. Take it easy, guys. All right, guys. Uh, one last thing. Um, if you don't want to buy a bunch of adapters and you already have charge leads, I would suggest buying a couple of these. It's a bullet on one side, XQ60. Um, they just pop right in there. And then you can use all your existing leads. You know, here's my EC5. And those go right into those ports. So, probably the best way to go. I bought them off eBay. It's very, very, very cheap. They shipped from China, but they got here in, I don't know, about 10 days. So there you go. There you have it. Enjoy this charger. It's awesome. Bye.